Welcome back to Road to 56 as Ireland. So we finally had our first foray of ground combat from the continent. Been, just been a complete and utter slog. And at this point I am waiting, I'm just waiting for these flame tanks to come out so that we can upgrade all of our Fremorian infantry with them. And we also need a bit more army XP for that first. When I have the spare power, I think I'm going to... Let's see, what was I going to do? Go construction is for now. Right, when I have the spare power, I'm going to send an attaché over to, over to the UK. It'll bump up some of our war supports. It'll give us some ex extra XP, extra planning. Yeah, we're losing a lot of planes here. Back. I've always found that it turns into a bit of a slog at this point. Yeah, they're cancelling all their Lend Leases now because we don't need them. Oh, never mind. <laughs> so yeah, those flame tanks are now needed for reinforcements. Just waiting for them to be delivered. I should have built these sooner. But I didn't because I'm a moron. Mm, second brigade is almost ready. So we're getting about six a week, so five a week, sorry, so four weeks will be in a month we'll be ready we'll have them ready. For some reason, it's not replacing them. Maybe I need to create a new wing. I have weird things like this before.
yeah, for some reason I have to remove the old wing so I can upgrade so I can upgrade it. It's it's stupid, but what can you do? Gone with this age skill. Defense is always good because it improves breakthrough as well. And I did say I was going to do this. It does use a lot of command power, but they're going to be getting a lot of XP, so we'll be getting quite a good chunk of that as well. I also want this because it'll help with our. I'm starting to run low on steel again. Sports. Are you on convoy? Where are you? Where are you? It's done quite well. Basically, we're doing we're just doing anti-submarine warfare. Oh, the Yanks have pushed into Wilhelmshaven. Uh, less than two weeks until this is done. Well, it's nearly one a day now, so... Let's say another... Ten days. Then we are going to try pushing into Saarbrücken. Not the entire thing, you moron. Second dots. Put you back here until everything has been delivered. And so all the odds and deeds. And they're not going to get involved in anything for a while anyway because they just completed their civil war. Right, who to put on this? Naval targeting? Meh. Agility, though. That means we're going to take a lot less damage from him. Division recovery ratio? Yeah, I should have done this ages ago, but... Well, we now have one to spare. Two to spare. Excellent. Are another two Primorian brigades? I was wondering if instead we should help try and take Milan. Just to clean this area up.
Oh, for fuck's sake. That was dumb. Probably yelling at me to make up my goddamn mind. That's a surprise. No, I haven't really had time to train these guys up properly, but they're orcs. They're bred for war. Well, maybe. Wait until they're in position. Okay, and then we can start doing a staff plan. Start doing it now. And we're doing this without our air support because Hearts of Iron 4 in his wisdom decide you have to delete them and re to create them. I don't know, it's stupid. Oh. Might as well put them on it. I mean, we have complete air superiority here, so it shouldn't be a problem. And they actually can't pierce our armor. Some of them can't, anyway. So, artillery and engineers often complete even further. So shock troops are better on the attack, but they can't, they take longer to recover. But that's kind of their job. Punch through one line, let the rest of the troops through afterwards. Okay. Quickly go into this. Focus on synthetic processing so we get another refinery. No good reason other than not really using it for much else. For some reason, I have to keep doing this over and over. Upgrade them. It's just so annoying. Mind you, in the base game, you can't even do that. Just upgrade your sock bus from small arms 36 to small arms 40, whatever. Really dumb, but there you have it. This guy. Dr. Lothar Rendulik. Ooh. 
hell? This guy is now up to level 3. He started out as level 1, but he had a trait called um, Promising or something like that. Basically, while he was, as long as he was less than level 3, he'd gain 150% more XP. Contribution do we have? <laughs> Zero percent. So our war score is going to be bugger all. One percent of this one. This. Zero percent of this Japanese Chinese one because we aren't involved in that. Maybe we'll get some uh, war score out of this. And I will use it to, to, to take some enemy ships. Slow this down to a more balanced manner. Let's try pushing towards Venice. Yeah, I've only visited the place once. It's years ago, I just never bothered with it. They must be getting very sick and tired of him at this point. So there is an achievement in the base game to have one agent get caught by get caught several times. Kind of amusing. Yeah. Stained battle. I think this is probably our best one. So we'll update that now. Hold the, attack, hold the attack and see if we can... Group our strength with the final push on Venice. I have to say, Venice would... Venice would probably be an absolute nightmare to fight in. When I think about it.
gonna get powered up. Oh, Superior yeah. enemy. Yeah, I wonder how many of them are just bog standard militia. Basic militia. Or at some points. Maybe I should try shortening this a bit and putting on one, one nice big hammer. And uh, starting to push. Oh, they're backing off. Basically, a meat grinder. in a day it means we're just at the tipping point I think in two days enforcing and decided it stops the attack and in the line a bit and just stack up on top on top of them so Ricky joins the allies first for Morian brigades chance for a medal for taking bait in the nation of Venice recovery race meh Supply consumption would be good. Recon and defense. Hmm. I think it just has to be supply consumption. Hey, we have full air doctrine. It's not that it's really going to be much use to us. Ready. Let them get into all get into position. Push them back. Hmm. Got this. These are not much use to me. Back to construction engineering. Integrated engineers. Extra heart attack and extra HB. Yes, please.
this point, the Dianes are almost certainly fallen. We're just waiting for them to realize. And charging up through the Alps is going to be an absolute nightmare. You don't need this primary now, or probably not. Ah well. Give Turkey a little hand with their infrastructure. It's going to be a bit slow, but. Especially since they will probably, if for your previous games or anything to go by, their war on the Soviets soon. Let me say we might want to try to take this bliss or. Bring these guys up a bit first, get them all the way up to strength. Time to recover. We're losing some war support from all our combat casualties, but this stage is not really much else you can do about it. Can I upgrade this any further? Ah, uh, extra reliabilities just isn't worth it. Not worth the XP, I mean. That bother with recon. Being it yet. Now this is good. Resource gain efficiency. Ready. Ethiopia wants trains. Australia wants convoys. Yep. This terrain is just horrific to fight in. There's a reason why in the First World War, the Italian Front was the well, probably had the most amount of casualties for what little terrain there was. Actually, I don't actually know if that's the case. I, was, it was certainly one of the roughest sectors. Naval Invasion of Athens. Yeah, the Japanese did do that, but I don't wonder why they bothered. Now, oh, I think that's just another save, so I think that's going to be it for now. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.
Bye for now.